three, two, one. You're on Artist on Record. Hit the bell to be reminded when we come on so you don't miss any other episodes. And it is breaking news right now. Please subscribe as always and make sure you hit the bell to be notified when we uh, pop on right now. Breaking news right here. If you're just joining in, very sad history and rock and roll. But the legendary Wilco Johnson passed away at the age of 75 years old. And it's all happening right now. Uh, we're going to give you all the updates. Welcome back, everybody. Just coming in, and uh, right now it is reported that Wilco Johnson, a uh, British blues rock guitarist for the band Dr. Feelgood, has passed away at the age of 75 years old. Uh, he had uh, cancer, and uh, a statement posted Wednesday on Johnson's official social media accounts on behalf of his family said the musician died Monday evening at his home in southeast England. And uh, if you're tuning in right now, I am Stefan. This is Artist on Record. Uh, Wilco Johnson has passed away. And if you're not familiar with, with him, uh, you might have also uh, seen him on uh, Game of Thrones, HBO series, in the, the first and second season of that. And uh, I think we have a picture of him right here from that. And uh, yeah, he was on that as well. But if you're tuning in, I am Stefan. Thank you for being here. Let's see. Uh, Debbie, always good to see you. Teresa, good to see you in, in the chat. Thank you guys for all being here. But um, he was he actually played uh, recently with Roger Daltrey. They did some recordings as well. But let me get right here in the thumbnails and show you a little picture of that. There's him and Roger Daltrey playing as well. And all the stars are tuning in. Legendary guitarist Jimmy Page of Led Zeppelin had tweeted about his passing. I'm sad to hear today of the passing of Wilco Johnson, the Dr. Feelgood guitarist and singer-songwriter. I saw Wilco perform at Coco in Camden in May 2013, and the atmosphere was electric. The show was originally billed as his farewell tour. Jimmy also says, but thankfully, he continued performing and thrilling crowds until recently. I really admired him and will all miss him. Rest in peace, Wilco. And that's on Jimmy Page's Twitter account. You can see that Jimmy Page at Jimmy Page. I'll go to his Instagram. And uh, thanks for all being here. Let's see the chats over here. Always great to see everybody in the chat. And if it is your first time here, please, please subscribe. Hit the bell to be reminded so you know that when we're coming on, any breaking news, and we could share the information with you. Um, I would be putting some clips of his music up here, but unfortunately... YouTube's restriction and it stops us from enjoying the music uh, for people who are not familiar with with the music of the, the artists that we enjoy today. But British blues rock band, Dr. Feelgood's guitarist, Wilco Johnson, has passed away at the age of 75. If you're just tuning in, um, he also was a big influence in the English punk movement. Paul Weller of the Jam had said Wilco may not be as famous as some other guitarists. But as he's right up there, and there's a lot of people who will say the same. I can hear Wilco in lots of places. It's it's just the legacy of his playing. And he had an odd style of playing guitar. If you're familiar with Dr. Feelgood, he actually was a lefty, but he played right. And he himself, Wilco Johnson, has credited um, his style of playing. He was a big fan of Mick Green, who Mick Green was had a band of Johnny, Johnny Kidd and the Pirates, also played with Billy J. Kramer, which is part and the Dakotas, part of the British invasion, Cliff Bennett and the Rebel Rousers. Uh, he, he just, he had a rhythm and the way he would play it, uh, Mick Green, he would kind of stab the chords, if you know, almost like uh, the best way to describe it, Pete Townsend, I can't explain that kind of style. And another person that was real influenced of Mick Green was Pete Townsend and Wilco Johnson they had similar style of playing where they could keep that rhythm. Uh, or actually, uh, Wilco uh, and Dr. Feelgood, they covered Green's song, Oh Yeah. It was on Dr. Feelgood's debut album. But if you're just tuning in, everybody, right now, a little history I'm giving you about Wilco Johnson, but Wilco Johnson has passed away and at the age of 75 years old. And he recently 
did some work with Roger Daltrey. So you could, I'll put, make sure I put links over there. I recorded with him and right there's him and Daltrey together performing. And he did do a memoir book, Looking Back at Me, Wilco Johnson. And you can check that out as well. But I want to thank everybody for being here. And uh, I am Stefan. You're an artist on record. You guys are beautiful. Uh, thank you all for being here. And um, at this time, we're going to check out of here. Make sure you guys are safe. And uh, our thoughts and prayers go to Wilco's family and friends and the fans, of course. Until then, everybody, I am Stefan. It's only rock and roll, and we like it. And remember, who loves you, baby? We do. Until then, I will catch you all later. Make sure you hit the bell. Subscribe to be notified. Uh, we'll be uploading episodes Friday, 7 a.m., so make Pacific Standard Time, and Saturday. All righty. We'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everybody.